Hey guys, it's Ivar Onye back with another vlog and it's been a while but Ivar is back with another vlog and today I'm going to teach you guys how to rent a car over here in Dubai and I'm not alone, I am Mr. What Albert What is up Ab. everybody, today's going to be a fun day and hopefully we're going to rent something nice, let's go. What do you have yes. in mind, what do you have in mind? You have the car right in front of you, oh. we're going to be renting the brand new oh. 2022 Mercedes S580 oh. L. It's the Yo. first edition, if you know what, it's basically like a Damn. private jet on wheels. Wow, so like a special edition? Mercedes? Special edition, exactly. Yeah, and it's new too, it looks super futuristic. By exactly. the way, what are the steps? What is, what's the first step in renting a luxury car in Dubai? Over here in Dubai, the thing is, is that many tourists are coming okay. over here in Dubai and they have zero knowledge they about don't. how to rent a car And a lot of them... A lot of people are getting scammed. Yeah. They get scammed, they get scammed either with their deposits, either with, the, with a lot of things, either with like you know, random accident stuff, they get scammed, right? Exactly. They do. I, heard, exactly. I heard about that. Exactly. So, so today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to rent a car over here in Dubai. If you take this car, for example, okay. they're charging around 2,500 dirhams okay. for one day. All right. And fun fact, you even get a chauffeur with this car. I mean, if you're renting a car oh. like this, you're not supposed so you, to be driving it. You're supposed to be yeah, sitting to sit at, at the, the back. back. <laughs> okay, it's for comfort. It's for comfort. It's not a car where you're going to hear the engine, but it's just to relax, feel like you're... You know, you don't have to worry about the ride you're in. You ride in comfort. So, yeah, I think, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alden speaks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so anyway, right now, we are about to take this car to Maidan. That's and we have man. Mr. Eric. Eric, I like your tattoo, by the way. How are you? How's everything? Where are you from? Slovakia. 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 <laughs> Yo, shout out Slovakia. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go. Let's go. Let's so go. anyway, we are about to take this car. All right, guys. So right now we are inside the Maybach. Oh, bro, I'm in <laughs> total comfort right now. This is such a vibe. Yo, yo, it's like it's like a house. I feel like I'm in someone's office, low key. <laughs> I know, right? Hey. And fun fact: this car is actually pretty powerful. Eric, can you show the power of this car? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so in order to know more about renting a car, I have my friend over here, Mr. Sahil, and he is also one of the co-founder of Caddy Car Rentals. Yes, so yes. that's how we got this car. So hey, shout just... out Caddy for Caddy. hooking it up. <laughs> yeah. So let's just talk about the procedure of renting okay. a car over here. Like if you guys are interested in renting a luxury car, all you have to do is just contact Caddy Car Rentals. So anyway, let's talk about the procedure of renting a car over here in Dubai. So for example, if you're looking for a Lamborghini Huracan or stuff like that, nice. the re rent goes around like 2,500 dirhams. Wow. Uh, that's it's like around 500 to 550 USD. Hey, compare that, bad, to, com bad, yeah, compare hey. that to US. If yeah. you're planning to rent a Lamborghini Huracan in US, yeah. that's around 1200 USD. Damn. So compared to other countries, yeah. renting a car is cheaper in Dubai. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, so you know what to do when you come when you head out to Dubai if you're a tourist listen straight off the airport go to carry go, go to carry just contact us I'll leave, I'll leave a number right below in the description so feel free to contact us Shut and up. now let's talk about the procedures like we've been yeah. lagging a bit <laughs> step number one so if you're from US there's nothing all you have to do is just pay a deposit of 3000 dirhams which will be given back to you okay uh, once the car rental is done fantastic so nice. you can either rent the car for one week two week one day, two day, like it goes on like that. Okay. But the minimum deposit is 3,000 dirham. We take this 3,000 dirham just because, just in case, if you crash the car. If there's the, fines, if you're traffic speeding, fines, you know, exactly. stuff like that. Yeah. All you have to do is just give us the deposit. There's a copy of your driver's license. Okay. Can and you do an international copy. driver's license? International, well? exactly. Like if you're from okay. India and you're coming to Dubai and you want to experience a car like this, all you have to do is just that. You have to get an international driving license hey, from India. IDL. Yeah. That is just 5,000 rupees. If you take that uh, license, you can come over here and rent any car you want. Like Ooh, literally, you can drive any car. Bar. Any yeah. car. Four to six weeks later. Hey guys, it's over on here back with another vlog. And today's going to be a fun day because right now we just came to a supercar meet. And this place is filled with supercars. Like, not gonna lie, to start off, we have this beautiful Mercedes G63 with G132 number plate. And if you guys are wondering, yes. The number plate costs the same as the car. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that is also pretty unique. And we have a Lamborghini Huracan. That's a 8 super fast Maserati MC20. Lamborghini Huracan STO. That's a Porsche 911 Turbo S. We have a 992 GT3. Another Porsche. That's a Ferrari F8. And we have a Huracan STO right over there. Place is filled with supercars. And to be honest, I feel like there are over $10 million worth of supercars in this lineup. So we have a Nissan GTR R35. And the number plate itself says R35, so that is also pretty unique. And over here we have a Jaguar, 
we have another Aston Martin. We have the cheapest McLaren which you guys can buy in the market right now. This is a McLaren MP412C. So that is also pretty nice. So if you guys are wondering what's the rate of this car, it goes for around 300,000 dirham. So it's not cheap, but it's the cheapest McLaren which you guys can buy right now. We have another Aston Martin. This is another Ferrari. And to be honest, this place is filled with, I mean, they have a lot of Porsches to this. So that's also pretty nice. Yeah, this is a Porsche GT4. This is this is a 991 Porsche GT3 RS. We have a McLaren 720S. The thing about McLaren 720S is this that the maintenance is pretty expensive. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Especially with the wiring, the problem keeps on coming. That's what I heard from other McLaren users. And it's been a while since I've seen a Lamborghini Calad over here in Dubai. And it looks beautiful with the Italian stripes on it. So mm. that is also pretty unique. And we have another Porsche GT4. This is a Lotus. I have no clue what Lotus is. It? I think it's an Elise, if I'm not mistaken. So let me know in the comments below what Lotus is this. This is a Mercedes AMG GTS. We have a Bentley Continental GT V8. Car which actually caught my attention is this beautiful Lamborghini Huracan 610 Dashboard wrapped in gold. I mean, over here in Dubai, if you need attention, then this is the car you should buy. It looks beautiful. And the wrap is unique. I mean, Compared to the yellow one, everyone will only look at this car right here. It looks beautiful. And over here, we have a Ferrari California. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this Ferrari California. But it's the cheapest Ferrari you can buy over here California. in Dubai. It's been a while since I've seen a Ferrari California. Yeah. I've seen one for going for around 250,000 yeah. dollars. So that is also there. We have a Porsche GTS, another 488. We have another GT4 and that, my friends, is a GT3. So that was a super car lineup which they had outside. So anyway, let's go inside People of Fate and take a look at the cars which they have inside the show. When you walk inside People of Fate, you are greeted with cars like this. That's a Porsche Carrera GT. We have a Lamborghini Aventador Ultimate, the last Aventador ever produced. And this is the hypercar lineup which they have over here. To start off, we have this beautiful McLaren Speed Tail. One of 106, so that is also pretty unique. And it looks beautiful. I have no clue what color is this, but the spec is insane. It's 17 feet long, so that is also there. And over here, we have this beautiful Pagani Huera Roadster. And, well, I don't know what to say. It's literally a piece of art. Mm. When you get something like this, I mean, you don't feel to drive it. You get what I'm True. saying? So that is the best part about this car, right? And uh, over here, we have a Lamborghini CR, one of 63. So that is also there. Oh, my God. I don't know what to say. It's, uh, it's, to be honest, I have seen uh, Lamborghini Sians with outrageous colors. Yes. But this is finished in matte black and it looks beautiful. Not gonna lie. It has that stealth look to it. And over here, we have another Pagani Huayra. And fun fact about this Pagani Huayra is this, that. This is the launch car. This was the exact same car which Horatio Pagani launched with a genuine motor in 2011. So that is also there. And over here we have another McLaren Speeder. And the car which actually caught everyone's attention is this one right here. My friends, is the Brabus Crawler. Just take a look at this thing. It costs over $1 million. It's basically an off-roading beast. I think it's based off G63 if I'm not mistaken. Mm. But it's... Yeah. Since it's $1 million, think about it, $1 million for a dune buggy right here. So that is pretty unique. It's pretty